Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And uh, I've just arrived at my playhouse, and it's still kind of light outside. And uh, I just wanted you to be along with the very start when I got here. Only turn off the light so that we can film. <laughs> and this weekend again, I have some wood with me. And it's out here on a trailer. And I'm gonna be burning that and getting it in during the weekend and I was very curious of how the battery the the battery from my earlier video from 1978 is doing so I wanted to go down and see that to start with so let's go down to the basement and we'll just turn on turn on some light down here Lights and lights. Here's the battery. I haven't touched it in a week, so let's turn on the multimeter. Okay. And I can see the when I edited the video that I need to get closer to everything with this lens. So eleven point. Five, seven. So we'll start charging that. And we need to plug in the charger. Let's see which one that is. That's the wrong one. This is this one. And now we should. I'm gonna plug this in. And we should get some more voltage. And we did. 13.6. And I'll be charging this for the rest of the day. And tomorrow I'll be uh, trying to drain it again. And my land project, a bit of an update. It's doing fine. <laughs> Actually, I want to plug this in too. This is like temporarily, but still need this. And I need to fire up the the stove. I'll do that. I'll just it a bit later i have turned on the heat pump so that is working and then i have another project i have this this thing that's from my faucet in the kitchen and i think this is about 18 millimeters and i've been buying these wrong this is number three that i've bought oh no this is the this is the one that i broke but I've tried to replace it and number three has just arrived here. I bought this one. I really hope that this one is exactly like, it's not exactly like, but the, you know, these, I don't know what these are called in English, but that is the same diameter. Uh, yeah, same measurement across so that it will fit up here like this one did until I broke it. So I'll go get some tools and I'll see if this one fits. And like I said, this is number three. And these are not, they're not cheap. This one is like, uh, it's probably about $13 or something like that. And for the price that I've been paying to buy these wrong, I could have bought, bought a new f faucet. So that was kind of stupid, but I could just buy the right ones and it would be okay. So I'll get some tools. Okay, now that I've already bought three of these and they were wrong, I'm gonna try to open this so that I can 
I can exchange it if it's really wrong again. It's really hard to get anything out of this plastic. I think it's, it's supposed to be that because then you can't exchange it. Oh. Oh, it's good. Ooh, it fits. like an o-ring and this thing is is to air the water uh, it's a water saving device so you put that in and this cocks up when the water is like if there's dirt and small stones and stuff in it right now the this is what the water looks like it's not very nice and it's dripping in here and I've actually had to turn down the water because otherwise it's all over the sink. So with this one it should be, be a lot better. Just a little bit because this is actually how I broke the other one. There we are. And now I should be able to turn up the, the pressure. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than before. Now I can finally throw this one out. I've been saving it because I wanted something to look at when when I got got a new one. So now I'm gonna throw this out, and I don't need this one. Oh, <laughs> in the garbage here's here's the packaging for the for one of the wrong ones. This is like 20 millimeters and the one that fits is 18 millimeters and I kind of put this they're, they're probably not gonna take that back so finally got one that fit It's really cool to come here and don't have that that mess with all the wires here. The the new lamp. It's not it's not giving up that much light, but it's it's a, quite an improvement. Uh, instead of the, the one that was there before. 
and now we can go see. I put some. I fired out. Oh, and this is doing quite well. The house is about 10 degrees Celsius when I got here today. Um, oh, we can make a video with just the fire. <laughs> We can see the temperature on this storage tank. The water is about 20 degrees Celsius. The C is means that it's Celsius. This storage tank is... I got it used last year. Uh, it's not that big. I think it's about 100 liters. Uh, something like that. Actually, I think I don't think it says it right here. Oh, 200 liters. I guess the type number is 200, so that's probably for 200. And the the storage tank it's from 1981. Um, I haven't had it that long. I just bought it last year. I just needed a storage tank and. Uh, I, I didn't see, did not see no reason to buy a new one. And over here, the the battery is charging. And yeah, it's going up and it's going down. Um, that's a bit weird. That's okay. Enough. Last weekend, when I made the video about the battery, I found all kinds of stuff that I could uh, you you saw this one I actually I wanted the battery to to go down to 10 volts using this one and it took quite a while um, and I tried all kinds of other things I got these also using 12 volts to plan fan blowers and I got a, got a small inverter up here also 12 volts and then here I got some other stuff I tried up everything tried everything and see how much it would it would load the battery to get it down in voltage as fast as possible I could actually charge this one plug in plug in I didn't get to charge this. Let's charge one of these. There we are, charging. Let's see the temperature on the solar cells. Oh, the water in the tank is 31 degrees Celsius. That's not bad. So the sun must have been shining today. It's the number up here tells us that this is the temperature at the at the solar catches or up on the roof. And then this is the the symbol for the pump. The pump is this one. And when it when the pump is on this arrow it turns around and this is the storage tank. So when we press down the number two is the temperature of the storage tank. So 31 degrees. That's not that bad. That's pretty cool. I always enjoy when, when I'm able to take the first shower of the year on solar. <laughs> it's not yet. <laughs> A couple of days with sun and it would be possible. I'm not gonna film that. Oh, it's burning really well in there. Here's another mess with wires that I I need to attend to at some point. It's the wire that comes. This is the black one that I connected earlier. Let's see, it's this one. This one. And it goes under the stairs and it goes in here and it it powers this one and it powers the one in here. There's a lamp there. It powers that one too, and I should really fix that because that's it's just stupid. 
this one is powered entirely different so I actually just need to tear this down and put a lamp on the other side and drill through up here and yeah maybe I should do that not right now but I should do that <laughs> there's lots of projects so that was that was kind of an update of um, what has happened. Actually nothing has happened since last weekend when I made the last video, but that's kind of an update on everything. <laughs> so um, thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel and you will see me again. I'll find some good things to do this weekend and I'll film that and you'll get some more videos. Have a nice day.